Hello and welcome to Tech Tuesday. My name is Dom with DigitalDom.com, helping you be successful in the digital world. Today we're gonna to be talking about five new things on iOS 9. Question of the day, have you updated your software? Before you can start enjoying these new features, you do have to update your software, which is really easy. You just go to settings, general, and then software update, and then boom, you're done. Now you're gonna be on iOS 9. Once your software is updated, the first thing you'll notice is iPad multitasking. So what iPad multitasking is, is that from the sidebar, you can kind of scroll over or pull over to the left, and then you can actually kind of toggle between these different apps. Now right now, it's only limited to a few apps, um, and then on the iPad Pro that's coming out, you'll be able to do a full side-by-side. -side. Right now, it's just a little piece of the screen there. So I'm going to my photos. I can go ahead and take a look at a photo, and then there it is. I can swipe it back and then close it out and then bring it back. So that's kind of the side multitasking on the iPad, and this is only for the iPad. So you can see I can bring up notes and jot a quick note. The next item you'll notice is search within the settings. So once you go to your settings tab on your iPhone or iPad, you can now actually search at the very top of the toolbar. So at the very top, I just clicked on settings and you'll see a little icon at the very top. Um, and you can actually just type in a keyword, like let's just say battery. So I can go ahead and type in battery and then all of a sudden it'll take me right to the place that I'm searching for. So if you get lost within the settings, just type in a keyword and you're good to go. A new small enhancement is multitasking windows on the iPhone. So what I mean is that um, when you're multitasking, you just are pressing different um, items or different applications. So you just double press on the home button and these windows pop up. It's always been the same, but just looks a little different. The UI looks different um, and you can just kind of uh, toggle between these different applications and then just like before, once you double tap on the home button, you can swipe up to close out those applications. If you're like me, you love taking notes. The new update is the Notes app update. So basically what it is is that in certain applications such as Safari, um, at the very bottom of the application, you'll see a little square and then an up arrow. You just go ahead and click on that and that will actually save it to your notes. So if let's say you're looking at this website, www.digitaldom.com, and you wanna save it into your notes, you just click on the little Notes app, boom. And then now it's already saved and you can even add extra text to that particular note. Maybe it's an article that you like, maybe you wanna visit again. So there you go. That's the new Notes app update. Another application that was updated just slightly is the Photos apps. So what's interesting is that if you go to your photos, click on the Photos app, you'll see a new, a new category called Selfies. So I guess you can gauge how many selfies you've taken. I also noticed that um, as I was previewing my videos and photographs, it kind of gave me a little preview as I kind of slid over to the next photograph or the next video, which is kind of cool. At the very bottom, you'll notice that you're able to kind of scrub through your photos very quickly and you can kind of see what photos you've taken. Now I've already shared five new things, but I think I'm gonna give you guys one more extra bonus. So uh, the new update is that if you go to settings and then battery, you can now put on This is one of those that will really come in handy. So there you have it, brand new features on iOS 9. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and share the link right here. Uh, thanks again so much, and I'll see you next week.